I'm so excited for you all to be here today. Mr. Percival, are you with us? Nope, I guess I'm doing the intro. Okay, I start down like this, right? Ready? Good morning, North Central. Welcome to our huddle. I'm so glad that you are here this morning with us. It is time now for our pledge. So come on up, friends. You've already seen them, but welcome back. Hi. Good morning, North Central. Our, your announcers for today are Charlie and Brandon. Please stand for the pledge to our flag. Attention, salute, pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Remain standing for a moment of silence. Please be seated. Let's, Let's make, make today the best day of our lives. Woo! All right. Sorry, I was down and helping Miss Sayers sub. Um, hey, Miss Sayers class, get on. Um, so, wouldn't it be cool to have a video of one of your friends at Ward Central singing the national anthem every Thursday? Oh yeah. I think it'd be really cool. Well, there's actually a competition sponsored by the VFW, which stands for Veterans of Foreign Wars Auxiliary. And I'm gonna put this entry sheet on each of your activity Google Classrooms. And you get your mom, dad, grandma, somebody at your house to help make a video. And remember to hold your phone like this, not like this, like this, when you make the video. And then um, you can send it to your teacher and they'll send it to me or get it to me. But the uh, on the entry form, it tells you where to send your videos and how to send your videos for judging. And the VFW, they'll pick someone from the area and then I'll go on to be a national thing. Um, the winners of that. And, you know, just because you try already makes you a winner, right? Oh, yeah. All right. Now, speaking of winners. Speaking of winners. I can't wait for speaking this. Speaking of winners. The nine weeks was over, so we have our Activity Great Classes Awards. Will the uh, groups from last nine weeks hold up? Will they win question. again? I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. So let's see. We got K. Who's the winner of the most greats in activity in K? You want to guess? Miss Thompson's class. Yeah. No. Miss Lowe. Mrs. Lowe's yeah! class. Congratulations, Mrs. Lowe's Way class. Way to go, Miss Lowe. <clears throat> and now in first grade. It's Miss Moore's class, isn't it? It's Blaine. Oh, it must is? be Miss Moore. <laughs> Oh, wait, it's Mrs. Ford. Ford. Mrs. Ford, congratulations. The most greats. And then in second grade, who, who is it? has the most greats in second grade? And I was just down there, Miss Sayers' class. Yes, and, Ms. Sayers. What is this? It has something else. Underneath it says school winner. <gasps> so not only did Miss Sayers class have the most in second grade, they had the most greats out of the school. Congratulations, Miss <laughs> Sayers class. My lovely assistant. Hey, can I get some paper? Wave. Huh? Look at that. All right. Third grade. Who is it? Miss Monroe. Who is it? Miss Monroe. Yes! Yes! That's the Monroe Bar slash Barnett class. Yes. And then I got a couple of fourth graders here. Who do you think it's going to be? I think it's going to be Miss Burton. Miss Burton. Miss Burton. Miss Burton. Miss Burton. Burton. Burton always gets a grade in music on Fridays. Mm -hmm. I'm never yeah. there. So. I know. Yeah. All right. Now, our winner for fourth grade. Drum roll. Miss <laughs> Reynolds class. No! Maybe next time. Congratulations. Now, 
You got uh, this third week's, or nine third weeks, nine the weeks. third nine weeks to get a great. I want to see how many, maybe we can get ties in every grade because you are all so great. All right, back to Miss Taylor. And now we're actually passing it on to the cafeteria for our MVP segment. Do you read me, MVPs? Come in, MVPs. We're here. We were just muted. I, was, I had the great intro and I was muted. I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'm here with, uh, of course, some amazing MVPs. We've got, I believe, six today. We had a couple that were absent, so we'll get them next week. So let's get started. Oh, well, nope, we have one coming in, so we have seven. So let's get started. First up, we have Carson Harris. Carson was nominated because he always tries his very best to learn, and he is kind to his classmates. Awesome job, Carson. We're so proud of you. Next up, we have Abigail. Abigail Samples is our pre k -er. And she was nominated because she is very respectful to her teachers and friends and is always and always makes good choices. Way to go, Abigail. We're so proud of you. Thanks for coming down. Next up, we have Madison Hand. Madison was nominated because she works hard during math and wit and wisdom. Way to be a hard worker, Madison. Good job. Next up is Justin. Justin Sanders also is a hard worker. He works hard during math and wit and wisdom. Good job. Way to be a hard. Yeah, that's right. Look at, look at that <laughs> handsome face. Way to be a hard worker. Good job. MJ Raddick is our next MVP. MJ is a map growth champion. He has worked so hard, and I am so proud of him. Good awesome job. job, MJ. Good job. Sarah Razor. Sarah Razor is an all-star. She works hard every day. Sarah raised her math map score. That's that's a mouthful by 17 points and her reading score by 12 points. She accomplished both of her map goals. Wow. Good job, Sarah. Last but certainly not least, we have Abel Staley. Abel is an all-star student. He is kind to others. Abel always uses his manners. He always completes this assignment and does his best work. Abel had, to, had the top score in the math section on the math test in both of Miss um, Adams' classes. Woo! Way to be a champion. We are so proud of our MVPs. Back to you, Miss Taylor. Awesome MVPs. Now we're going to send it on to our Spirit Six Squad. Come in, Spirit Six Squad. Do you read me? Hello? Testing, testing. One, two, three. Oh, no, I don't think it did. I don't think they can hear me. We must be having technical difficulties this morning. Hey. Yes. yes, we can hear you. Yes. Okay. Here we go. All right. Where are we going? Where are we going? <laughs> what hall are we in? Oh, Miss Monroe, where are we today? Does anybody recognize the hall? What hall are we in? Where are we going? I wonder where we're going. I wonder where we're going. Mm, looks like third grade it is. Somewhere down in third grade we. Oh, let's see which third grade could it be? Woo! Wonder where it is. Wonder where it is. Listen. All right, Miss Min or Miss Thompson is muting her mic, and I'm going to tell you why. Miss Barnett slash Monroe's class won the Spirit Stick Award. They have had the best attitude. Even in difficult situations, they can see the best in others, even when they're struggling. They have also had great spirit. Pat yourself on the back, Miss Monroe slash Barnett's classroom. I'm so proud of you guys. Keep up the hard work and enjoy your week with the spirit stick. It's now time for us to talk about an important holiday. You may have noticed we weren't in school on Monday. That's because we were celebrating what we call MLK Day. 
MLK Day celebrates Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. and all the wonderful things that he did for our country. We are going to watch a video right now about Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. So I'm going to share my screen so that you can learn about why we celebrated that day and why he was an important man and why his legacy is still so important to this very day. The third Monday in January is observed as the birthday of Martin Luther King Jr. and is an official U.S. holiday. Dr. King's actual birthday is January 15th. Dr. King was a church and community leader who spoke out against racial discrimination, the unfair treatment of people based on the color of their skin, or where they came from. His voice became familiar to millions of people during the Civil Rights Movement, a time when many people were working hard to change unfair laws. These laws prevented many African Americans from using public areas, going to certain schools, or even entering some stores and restaurants. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. believed people should stand up for what is right and stop injustice any way they can, but never through the use of violence. As recognition for his ideas and dedication, he was awarded the Nobel Peace Prize in 1964. The Civil Rights Movement led to historic changes in our country's laws. In 1994, the U.S. government encouraged Americans to use the King holiday as a national day of volunteer action. There is so much more that we can learn about Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Right now, I'm going to read to you, if I could find you, where'd you go on my screen? Oh, there you are. I'm going to read to you from a book that is Miss Gassaway's book. It is beautifully illustrated. That is a picture of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. He made a very important speech in Washington, D.C. And I'm going to read to you a couple pages of that speech right now. It says, I have a dream that one day this nation will rise up and live out the true meaning of its creed. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal. I have a dream that my four little children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. I have a dream that one day... Little black boys and little black girls will be able to join hands with little white boys and white girls as sisters and brothers. I have a dream today. I have a dream today. And I know you have been learning about this in your classrooms. I know you've been talking about these things. And I've seen that you guys are talking about dreams that you have. And so right now, I'm going to, uh-oh, Miss Newport, you're presenting. Do you want to share something y'all have been working on? Oh, no. Okay, I'll go ahead and present my screen because I have been seeing some of the dreams that our Word Central students have, and I wanted to share those today. Dreams that have been inspired by Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Miss Ford's first grade class has some dreams that I wanted to share with you today. Aniston dreams that the world becomes a better place. Damien dreams that everyone can love one another. Madison dreams for everybody to get along. Briley dreams that everyone can live in peace. Amber dreams that everyone is loved. And Matthew dreams that everyone gets along and stops fighting. And now down to our fourth grade hallway. All right, here we are on the fourth grade hall, 100 Dreams for the World. It looks like our fourth graders have been learning about MLK and have some dreams that they want to share. Here's one. I have a dream for the world that you don't have to care about the color of your skin to be friends. I have a dream for the world to protect the wild from pollution. My dream for the world is to help other people in need. My dream for the world is to stop throwing trash in the ocean. My dream is to end world hunger. Keep on dreaming, guys. Dream big and change the world. I think this is the perfect time to segue into a very important thing that is coming up. Uh-oh. Let me get that shared again. My bad. 
We have an exciting week coming up next week. Some of you already know what it is because I have been in your classrooms talking about it and Miss James has too. It's kindness week. Yes. And we thought that this year, you know, we're living in the middle of a global pandemic and we want to stop the spread of COVID, but that got our wheels to turning and we thought, a global pandemic is not very fun. Let's start something even better. Let's start a global kindemic and let's see how far and wide we can spread kindness. Here's what it looks like. We're going to start in Arkansas. Here we are at Word Central and we're going to spread it. We'll see how far we can spread it in Arkansas. Maybe you've got some friends or family that live in Benton or in Hot Springs. And we're going to start here and we're going to see how it continues to spread, maybe from Arkansas, maybe we can even spread it to our whole country. Maybe you know somebody in California you can spread it to, or New York. But guys, from there, what if it spread to the entire world? What if we could spread it to Africa? What if we could spread it to Brazil? I can't wait to see how far we can make our kindness spread. I'm really excited about this. I don't know if you can tell it, but I'm so pumped to spread the kindness as far as we can. I had a second grader, Talon, who said yesterday, it's kind contagious. I thought that was awesome. It's kind contagious. Let's spread some kindness. All right. You'll be getting more information about details on that on Monday. I can't wait to share it with you and I can't wait to get started. We got a lot of cool stuff coming up. And let's talk about our K Kids mask decorating contest. Now, oh, our picture turned sideways here. Uh, reset image, reset image. Oh, well, you can turn your head sideways to see. That is our pre K friend, Miss Rowan Arnold, and she uh, was our pre K mask decorating contest winner. And we Yay. had several other people that are, you're going to see in the video in just a moment, but a couple who are not pictured were Ronan from kindergarten, Ooh. Brayden from third grade Yay. and Isaac from fourth grade. Let's Yay. check out that video now. Yeah. All right. We are so excited to have the winners of the K kids mask competition with us today. Jet, tell us what they won. Uh, they want this $2 bill to the bookstore called Bookstore Bucks. Awesome. Let's meet our winners. Hi, I'm Allie Hodges, and my teacher is Miss Awesome mask. Hi, I'm Melissa Johnson, and my homeroom is Miss Burton. Excellent. Hi, my name is Morgan Haslip, and my homeroom teacher is Miss Riddle. And since I don't have my mask, it was a rainbow mask with Among Us characters, and it was Minecraft characters, too. So cool. My name is Ellen Albertson. My teacher is Miss Adams, and that's my person name. Awesome. My name is Alexis Wheeler, and my teacher is Miss Fields, and this is my mask. I love the glitter. My name is Layla, and... My teacher's name is my roommate, and I have a mask. Nice! My name is Amber Lee. My teacher's Miss Gordon. This is my mask. That's amazing! My name is Holland's class, and my name is Lane. Awesome. Congratulations, Lane. Hi, my name is Sophie Glover, and I am in Miss Harvard's class. Here's my mask. And do I see a red ribbon week theme on that? Yes, thank you. Be happy, be sick, be brave, be drug free. My name is Madison Hand, and my teacher's name is Miss Hayes. Here's my name. Beautiful. My name is Maria, and my, my teacher is Miss Goldings. Excellent. Let's see that mask. So well done. My name is Grayson. My, my teacher's name is Miss Thompson. Here's my mask. That is amazing. Way to go. And my name is. My teacher's Miss Nice. That is so great. Let's give everyone a round of applause. Way to go. K Kids Mask Winners. Awesome. I love how much our K Kids does for our school and for our community. What a kind thing that they do to raise money um, to, to pay it forward into the world, into our community. And so without further ado, let's have Miss Mann do our affirmation today as we close. Are you guys ready? All right. You are strong. I, I am strong. strong. You work hard. I, I work, work hard. hard. 
When you fall, I, I get, get back, back up. up. You are kind. I, I am, am kind. kind. You are smart. I, I am, am smart. smart. When you fail, I, I try, try again. again. You are important. I, I am, am important. important. And you are loved. I, I am loved. loved. Thank you, Miss Mann. And all together we say, WC, better me. We are champions. Make today the best day of your life. Woo!